Hello folks and welcome back to a new Time Games Lab tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this these little floating labels that you can use to show when your character loses HP or when it gains life or something like that. Okay, fairly simple so let's do it. So let's start by importing some script. This script is going to be the easy scripts that we're going to be using for this tutorial. I'm just import it and I'm going to import it as tab script. Those scripts can be found at Dave Tech website. Okay, so this is davetech.co.uk website. He has a lot of cool things in his website. If you go to Game Maker Guides and we scroll down to more Game Maker Guides and snippets. If we come here, you're going to see we have the easing and tweening functions in Game Maker. Okay. And basically what he has done, he has taken Robert Pinner uh, easing functions and put all, you know, scripts. So it's very good. So you just download it here. You just click with the right but mouse button and save as, and you import it into Game Maker. Okay. So with the easing scripts loaded, we can start working. So let's create a new object. Let's give it a name. Let's call it object label. Oh, sorry, close it. Look it again. Add event, create event. Well, let's start setting up our initial variables. So we're gonna start by setting the scale to one and the alpha to one. Those are initial alpha and scale. Then I'm gonna set the float distance. For that, I'm gonna set the f distance variable to zero. That's our initial distance maximum distance f maximum distance to 200 that's a maximum is going to float okay then i'm going to set the duration or the half duration of the effect so after it's going to be equal to zero that's your initial value and the maximum duration is going to be 16 so it's going to take 16 frames per part of the animation okay and part equals zero because we're going to be using two parts okay and then I'm going to use some random variables just for this, the sake of this example. You don't have to do it in yours. You're going to use your own variables. Okay. So I'm going to create this new var value and it's going to be I random from 50 to minus 50. And I'm going to check if it's less than zero, I'm going to set my color to C red. And if it's greater than zero, I'm going to set my C color to my color to C line. Okay, and the label, which is the text that's gonna show up in the screen, is gonna be string absolute of the value plus HP at the end. Okay, we're done with the creation event. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a font before we start using it, but what I'm going to do here, I'm just gonna create a font and I have downloaded this origami mommy font that I liked for this tutorial. Let's set the size to 16 and no anti-aliasing, okay? And let's go to my step event now. Okay, so first we're gonna check which part of the animation we are into. So if part's equal to zero, the part zero is gonna be the scaling. So I'm gonna use this easy in out back function. It's gonna take the initial value or sorry, the initial time, which is after the initial value, the change in value. So it's going to be from one to one and a half. So it's going to change 0 0.5 and the maximum duration. Okay. So this is going to be from one to one and a half. Those are the four arguments for all the easing functions of the attack. Okay. Else, which means we're in part one, where we're going to do floating and fading. The distance is going to be also it's going to be an easy in back easing. I'm going to take in F duration zero to the maximum distance and the F maximum duration. Okay. So it's going to be going from zero to 200 and alpha. I'm going to use the clamp. It's going to be a linear uh, easing. You could use lerp and F duration one and a half minus one and a half. So I'm going to, I want to go from one and a half to zero and maximum duration. Because I'm going to clamp this between 0 and 1, this actually is going to go from 1 to 0, but it's going to take a little bit of time to start. Okay. Then I'm going to add 
one to the current iteration. So each step is going to add one to the current iteration. And I'm going to check if I have exceeded the maximum duration. So if F there is greater than maximum duration, I'm going to add one to the part. And I'm going to reset the F to zero. Okay. If the part is greater than one, which means we're done, I'm going to destroy this instance. And just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to create a instance in a random position, X and Y position. Okay. And I'm going to create myself. Okay. Object label. Perfect. If you're using GMS2, all you have to do is change this function to instance create layer and the rest of the tutorial is exactly the same. Okay. And we're done with the step event. Let's go to the draw event, our last event. Draw. Let's add some code. Okay. So let's draw the test. First, I'm going to set some variables. So I'm going to set the font to my font one. Sorry. Font one. Okay. I'm going to set my vertical alignment to middle and my horizontal alignment to center. And I'm going to draw my text transformed color. Okay. So I'm going to use X. My Y position is going to be Y minus the F distance. That's the variable we've been calculating on our step event. The text is going to be label. I'm going to use scale and scale. The color, the rotation zero, sorry. Color, I'm going to be using color, 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 because I don't want any gradient or anything like that. And the alpha is going to be our alpha. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Let's add this object to a room. So let's create a room. Let's add this object to the room. And let's change the background color because I don't like this one. So let's pick something like this. It looks good. And that's it. And let's try it. And there we go. So you can see you have this floating text that shows up the label. And this is very good for any kind of games. Actually, it's very simple coding, one object, you do it all. So if you like this tutorial, please click on that like button. If you want to subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials like this, please click on that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified whenever I publish a new tutorial, click on that bell button. I hope you liked it. Please leave your comments on the section below and I'll see you on the next tutorial.